All right, so uh, who are you? Where are we today? Uh, we're at the Montreal Tattoo Convention in Montreal. Uh, <laughs> are you from Montreal? <laughs> I'm not from Montreal. Where are you from? I'm from Ottawa. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're not like you're not from another country. No, you're no, basically no, no. from here. I'm from here. Uh, basically, close enough. Uh, my name is Marcus, aka Flowers. Uh, yeah, I'm a tattoo artist, currently based in Montreal. Not from here. And do you own your own shop? Uh, I do not. I work at Tattoo Edge Royale. And where's that in Montreal? On Saint Denis in Montreal. Okay, so you are currently living in Montreal. You're yes. not f born here, but no. Yes. All right, awesome. Uh, and how many tattoos do you have? Uh, I have lost count after like. Like 27? I think 27 is a good... I lost count at 60. Oh, really? Okay, that's yeah, a pretty so, far into it. Yeah, but I got like, a lot of big pieces and stuff, so like... Cool, I'm gonna get my first tattoo in like 30 minutes. Uh, any, any advice for me? Tip. Yeah, like a tip? Any advice? Just Do I... Oh, just no, tip your artist. Oh, should I be scared? No, it doesn't hurt. They're actually painless. Actually, I'm getting it right in my leg. Yeah, that, tattoos are actually painless is a misconception. Really? Okay, so what... Okay, wait. So there has to be a place in your body that hurts the most when you get a tattoo at. Where's that? How many people do you think in this building right now have their asshole tattooed? Yo, maybe like, I would say at least 10. <laughs> a large amount. Yeah. So if, let's say someone walks into your shop, I want my asshole tattooed, what are you saying to that person? Minimum is gonna be like... Oh, he would do it? Yeah, minimum oh. dude, fuck. <laughs> Shit, nice. Like, I'll do anything for money. All right, classic, uh, good answer. Good. <laughs> Yeah, probably like at least like 500 like starter, and then I do like an hourly of like 200 bucks. So okay, so how in depth, how hard is it to tattoo the asshole? Um, I've never done it, but I've heard it's like, dude, I couldn't even tell you. I've heard, I've heard it's like there's there are harder places to tattoo. So, but like, people do it, so it must not be that that hard. And what about your getting your eyes tatted and blacked out? Oh man, that's like, that's a risk. Uh, I can't even, uh, that's, I feel like that, there's no way that does not hurt. Well, it's like an injection, right? It's not a tattoo needle. It's like an injection going into your, uh, into the liquid of your eye. Oh my God, okay. I don't know this for sure, but someone told me that it actually moves around forever. Uh, it's in that white it of your does. eye. Probably does, I mean, yeah. uh, makes yeah. sense. Would you ever get that shit? Probably not. So I think body modifications you think are too far and uh, people should not do? No, I think body modding is like an important part of like tattoo culture and stuff. So like, um, there's stuff mods I would probably do. Like, I thought about getting my tongue split or like getting my ears slotted, but like, I don't think I'd, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything dangerous. Like, what's a, what's a dangerous thing that people are like, okay, that's fucking too far. I don't know. Uh, People who, like pearl their shit. Pearl their shit? No, like pearl their, uh, you know. Their dick? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they, interesting. They, they, they make it bumpy. Bump. Okay, so like some type of alien type technology yeah, yeah. going on. All right. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, how long uh, have you been uh, tattooing uh, people? Uh, I've been tattooing professionally for a little over a year now, but uh, I've been like apprenticing and stuff for like about three years, I would say. So how often? How long have you been getting tats? I've been getting tattoos since I was 16. And how old are you now? 23. Okay. Uh, so do the math. Seven years. Yes. Seven That's years. Exactly there you go. Quick is. math. And okay, so after how many tattoos do you decide face tat time? Um, well, I got my face tattoo in December, and it was more like a question of do I feel like I'm situated enough in tattooing where I probably won't need another job? Um, but for other people, I would say like get your like get your sleeves, get your torso done. Don't get, don't go straight to like hands and face. All right, all right. So, like, so yeah, what's a good starter spot? I'm going right here, like shorts that's a pretty covered. Good, pretty spot. That's not a bad spot. It's a little bit more painful than other places. Like really easy spots are like extremities and like sh shin or like outside legs. I would say. All right, awesome. And uh, yeah, so what other careers do you think you could get with a face tat? I think there's like six could, or seven. Could rap. <laughs> you could be a rapper. Dude, honestly, any trade. Like you could be like you could be a fish merchant. You could go plant trees. You could uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck if my if tree guy had a tat face tat. Exactly. You could be a butcher. Dude, I think the next the next guy I vote for for prime minister is gonna have like face tats all over. He's gonna look like low peep type thing. Yeah, if he has like a if he has a word across his head, yeah, I'd probably vote for him. Exactly. So yeah. Uh, any any so any last final advice to people want to get tatted up tomorrow? Um, yeah, just pick some flash. Get good tattoos. But you're here, so you get should, good tattoos. Should you go intoxicated? No. 
Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, awesome.